In the next few minutes, we're going to teach you how to design an entire surveillance system, picking from over 5,000 cameras with 180 degree cameras, PTZs, and any camera that you want with markups, floor plans, and more. Let's get started. So here we have a blank screen. We're going to add our first camera, and you'll see the Add Camera button. I'm going to click in and add a camera. And we can move this camera around. I'm going to put this at this intersection right here. You'll notice that when I put it at this intersection, on the right-hand side, we have a simulated view. And this is actually from Google Street View. And so you can get Street View from wherever you are. So for instance, if we move the camera, you'll see the Street View would change as we move the camera around. And I'll go ahead and look south now. And now it's looking south. This is some farm field in Kansas, but you can change your location and you can do wherever you want. So for instance, we could do Paris, France. And now we're in Paris, France, and we can add cameras in Paris. Right now, we're going to go back to our first camera in our intersection here. So we have this camera. And one thing that professionals often like to do is to choose an actual model. So you'll see here we have 5,000 plus models in our database. So we'll go and basically uh, sort of randomly sort of pick a model, but you can pick from over 50 manufacturers. So we'll start basically with this camera right here. You'll notice that this camera comes in one of three angle view variations, 21 degrees, 57 degrees, and 61 degrees. So our calculator already knows this and it can be for uh, all different types of cameras. So we'll pull up this camera over here and you'll see this is a PTZ and it knows what its resolution is, it's 1080p. It knows the IR range, and it also knows its angle of view, right, min and max. So let's go ahead and select this camera as a demonstration. So here what you'll see is, and this gives you for a PTZ camera, it shows the entire potential range. So, you know, you can move, you know, you want the PTZ to look out this way, that way, and it shows you your max range. Now, the red line, you might be wondering, the red line is for the IR range, right? This is what we mentioned a moment ago was 120 meters. It knows on the map this is 120 meters. So you can see basically how far you can go and whether it'll stay within the IR range. So we have this camera over here. Now let's go ahead and add another camera. Uh, IPVM members can add as many cameras as they want. So you can add cameras and over here, we can say this is over here. I'll just double click here and I'm gonna hold and name this. And I call this Kansas Route 4. And then if this is a generic camera, we can go ahead and pick our resolution. So this could be a 4K camera, and then we could pick the uh, angle of view here. So we'll put 100 degrees to make it wider. Uh, we could also grab the sides to make it wider still or bring it in, or grab the stick man to make the distance further. If you want to, you can also uh, control the distance uh, from this input here. So right now it's at 249 feet. We'll put it to 100 feet, and you see how it moves in. Uh, if you want to use metric, you can just switch over to metric and the system will remember that you're now using uh, metric rather than imperial. So this simulated view shows you over here what it looks like. We also support a corridor mode. So if you want basically, this doesn't make as much sense basically on, a, on an outdoor field, but if you're interested in doing a hallway, um, you can also, if you have a camera that's not on Google Street View, let's put it inside the farm field. Uh, now we can pick sort of what scene we want to use. For instance, if there's a parking lot, we can use a parking lot scene, uh, or you could use a parking exit scene to get a sense of what that is. Uh, another important thing that we can do here is with our simulated person. So let's take another look here. So now we have 25 pixels per foot. As you can tell, 25 pixels per foot isn't really high quality. So what we're gonna do is, let's see, now let's say if it was a shorter distance, and here we're only, say, about 50 feet, now you're going to get a 50.9 pixels per foot. Now, of course, this varies. You can try out different resolutions. So, for instance, if this was instead, I'm going to drop it to 1080p, now you're going to see the pixels per foot is going to drop to 25.4. And again, you can, and our statistics show that over 60% of users will actually use their own cameras. So you can go ahead and pick through. You can see here there's a variety of different manufacturers to pick from. Uh, from professional to uh, consumer cameras, etc. You'll see here Pelco, you'll see here uh, Vivitech, you'll see here uh, Dawa, Axis, Aeracon, Vigilon, uh, so on and so forth. There's many different manufacturers to choose from. I'll go ahead here and I'll pick an Axis camera for a moment. Uh, let's pick this camera, say, over here. And we're going to pick this dome. And again, this is a verifocal dome. It knows what its resolution is and it knows what the angle of view is. And so you can see here, 
it will constrain you to within this angle of view for this camera. So this specific model has a maximum uh, angle of view, horizontal angle of view of 84 degrees, and it won't let you go any further. So if you try to sort of drag, drag it further, it says no, it's restricted. The other way, basically, if you try to make it any more telephoto, it knows that too, and it won't let you go uh, lower than 30, uh, 30 degrees because that's what the camera supports. So we've got a couple of cameras over here, and I'll zoom out momentarily. Now, if you need four floor plans, you'll see there's an add floor plan function. You can go ahead and add a floor plan, and I'll just show you a rough sense of this. So we put a floor plan in here, it's gonna upload it. Now you can scale the floor plan. Generally, you'll know on your floor plan to say like, okay, the distance of this hallway say is, let's call this uh, six feet, or you could again change it to meters. We'll call it six meters, it doesn't matter for now, just for demonstration purposes. We now have a floor plan on the map. Uh, then what you could do is with the floor plan on the map, you can put cameras on top of that floor plan. So the next thing we do is say, okay, we wanna have a camera in this part of the uh, restaurant building, etc., And then you can do the same thing moving around. We could then also change our scenes. We can pick an indoor scene here. This is a really narrow field, unrealistically so. So let's make this move at something like uh, a 70 or 82 degree field of view. Uh, to give a sense of that. Now I'm gonna zoom out here and show you what cameras we have. And so right now we have um, six cameras and we have uh, only one of them named. Uh, of course, we could go ahead here and we can name cameras different things. I'm gonna call, call this the intersection camera. Um, this becomes important when you actually want to start um, exporting them. All right, so here's this camera that we threw down in Paris. So we've got our Paris France camera. All right, and so here's some things you can start doing if you wanna share it with others. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna view all cameras. So you'll see we have a couple cameras in Kansas. We have a camera in Paris. You can put cameras anywhere in the world. And we're gonna start doing this to start exporting this. So one of the favorite we've seen from our users is the uh, export of PowerPoint. So I'm gonna go ahead and export it to PowerPoint. And you'll see here the export has started and momentarily it'll start showing you a percentage and it'll run through that, 9, 18, 36, so on, 100%. It's gonna export down to my computer. I'm gonna open it up, and then we're gonna take a look at an export. Now you can also export to uh, PowerPoint, you can export to PDFs, Word documents, uh, CSV files, there's many different options uh, outside of PowerPoint. Um, and here's a PowerPoint example. So this is our uh, calculator tutorial. So again, we see our overview. And then we have one slide for each camera. So camera one, Kansas Route 4, camera five, and the floor plan, uh, the intersection camera, and our Paris France camera. Beyond that, and we'll go back to a specific uh, cameras. Let me go over here, and we'll then show you, show you the Kansas. We'll go back to Kansas. So we have these cameras over here. We can move these things around on the map. A couple other things, if you don't want a map, you can switch the blank mode. So the blank mode basically just hides the map entirely. So if you're interested in that, you can basically go ahead and do that. And then the other is the, uh, the map mode. This is built on top of Google Maps. So you can either use map, which we're looking at here, satellite, which is what we've been showing you so far, and the blank mode if you just want to um, not have any map. A couple other things that you can do here, you'll see over here you can basically do markups on here. So we have labels. Uh, you might label this for things like uh, cabling. Uh, if you had sort of like uh, wireless equipment, you might want to put basically that uh, where your head end is means, you know, it's really anything that you want to do, but these are just a couple examples of that. Um, you can also draw lines. So if you wanted to draw lines, say if this was the head end and this was a camera outdoors, you could put lines. Um, and finally, if you want to share it outside of the exporting things that I mentioned with the CSV, the PDF, the Word doc, etc., um, you can also use permalink. And so a permalink then, when you copy that, you can then give this link just like a link to any other web page, and then anyone else basically can pull it up on their computer and they can see the design that you did. And that's the intro to using the calculator. If you need help, uh, feel free to email us at info, I'm gonna use a label over here, it'll be info at ipvm.com and we're happy to help you. Take care.